We are back with another review. What's up my nerdy peeps? I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to Nerdy Nails. And we are back with another nail polish from around the world video and today we're reviewing Holo Toco's latest nail polish collection. Now this box is to celebrate their two year anniversary and I'm not gonna lie the box is really cool I really do like the purple box and the packaging. I also really like the square linear holo on the packaging you can see the rainbow spectrum on every time you move the camera or the box and what's also really cool I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but within each of these squares you've got small pixelated holo within the square so the packaging for this box is top notch it is really good the back of the box is pretty much the same as the front we've got it stating it's a limited edition at the top and we've also got the name of each polish within the box as for this collection Holo Toco have decided to mix up the colours from previous collections to see what nail polishes they make and a lot of their thought is purple hence why the packaging is purple but it would be pretty interesting to see what colours have been made with mixing a lot of the polishes together but this box is literally just jam-packed hollow there's hollow on the side it is super hollow but nothing i don't really expect from hollow toco as they definitely love the hollow but let's take a closer look inside so on the left hand side we've got a nice big photo of all the previous nail polishes from other collections and we've also got on the back of it just some hollow toco branding which is really cool. I do like the branding. It is awesome. But the whole nail polish collection is really cute. I haven't got all the polishes, so it's nice to see the type of nail polishes that have been sold in the past. And then also in the top left-hand corner, we have a signature from Simply Nail Logical, which is super cool. And then moving on to the right side of the box, we've got the more fun entertainment side. So we have our massive hollow CD, which is awesome to look at, especially under this lighting. And it's also really fun to spin. I'm really addicted and I could spin this all day. And it's pretty cool that it lands on different polishes each time and it always lands on a polish. And that's because there's a magnet in the disc. So it will always land on another polish so that is awesome but enough of me chatting about the branding the branding is really cool a lot of thought has been put into this so this branding is definitely 10 out of 10 but let's have a closer look at some of these polishes apologies because again i'm probably not gonna be able to show off the holographic flare as i just live in a country where we just don't get some we have cloud and that is the true struggle of being someone who likes holographic polish they just aren't good in the uk as we never get sun so i'm hoping my handy phone flash will be able to show off the holographic flare as best as it can i really like that she's put these side bits here to make it easy to pull out the boxes as i did find in the other box it's a little bit hard to pull out so it's quite nice to put the little side things to make it easy to pull the polish out also these boxes are meant to be limited edition as well so they are a purple hue instead of the regular black so that is really nice i do like these purple boxes if you get them in the right lighting they also have a holographic flare so these boxes are really cool let's have a look at these polishes just before I begin, you guys may have spotted that one of my hands has shorter nails and that's because I'm getting back into archery and I only need one hand to have small nails to pull the string so I'm going to leave one hand with longer nails. So if you guys want to see some shorter nail designs or shorter designs with short nails let me know because at the moment I can currently do both styles. I'm going to be doing swatches of these polishes with the long and short nails as I think it's handy to see what the polish looks like with different lengths of nails but yeah i just want to quickly mention that's why my nails are mix match at the moment and they're going to be like this for the foreseeable future so here is all the polish in their nice lovely boxes i've actually just spotted one is upside down so i'll just quickly flip that over but the packaging is just so beautiful and i really like with my ring light the nice holographic flare we're getting with the logo so overall the packaging 
is just great and I'm really liking the holographic flare but let's take a closer look at each of these polishes. So for starters I've applied a peel off base coat off camera on all of my nails. So our first polish is heavy metal mixtape and this polish is made up of metallic foil polish with silver and multicolour flakes in a deep carbon jelly. Now this polish is really gorgeous. I really like the stone texture. It reminds me of granite and I can definitely see when it comes to the Halloween season I will definitely be using this polish for nail art as it has such the spooky vibes. I love it and can't wait for when it's Halloween. But for application of this polish, just before I do my swatch, I just want to mention that my nail is blue because Hydro Power has stained it and that is the reason why it is blue because I know people will ask. But for application, this polish glides on nicely and you will have full coverage between two to three coats and it looks great in a short and long nail style. So our next polish is glittery purple and this polish is made up of 10 different holographic glitters in a purple jelly base. Now I really like this polish, I really like the shade of purple and again these polishes will be great for Halloween. I really like this polish and I have some Halloween ideas I could use for this one. I really like all the different colour holographic glitters in this polish and it's just really pretty and for swatching it is absolutely fine. Again, this polish takes about two to three coats to get a nice full coverage and the polish glides on wonderful. And what's really good as well with this polish, the glitter of the polish spreads out nicely as I do find with some glitter polishes, sometimes the glitter doesn't spread out nice and evenly, but this polish does a great job of spreading out the glitters nicely and it looks great in a short or long nail version as well. So our next polish is the Way Back Chrome. Now this polish has five different multi-chrome polishes in and the result has turned into a teal polish that shifts from blue to purple. But looking on the bottle, it does also look like there might be a slight kind of coppery brown shift as the rim of the bottles kind of have a slightly goldy shift. So I do wonder in the right lighting, you might also get another color but this is definitely a cool multi-chrome polish, but application, there's no problem. It applies just as well as the previous polishes and you can see some of the multi-chrome effects taking place as in some of the angles, it does show the shifting patterns between blue and purple. So overall, a nice rounded multi-chrome polish. Our next polish is Rainbow Flood. Now this polish is a mixture of all of Holo Toco's Rainbow Holographic Linear collection. So the whole rainbow has been mixed in this polish to make a dark purple holographic linear polish. And there's not really much to say about this one. Application is just as good as all the other ones. Glides on really nicely. It looks fine on long and short nails and you also have a slight holographic flare shining through. So overall, not too bad. And our final polish is Everything Toco. So this polish is a mixture of the three holographic glitter toppers with a mixture of six different unicorn flakies in the bottle. And this bottle looks amazing. I really like the iridescent shift you have it in the polish with the unicorn flakies and this looks like a really nice glossy topper to put on top of polishes to make them look more sparkly and amazing. For this watch I'm just placing them under plain nails but the iridescent shift still looks amazing on plain naked nails and application is absolutely fine you do have to apply between two to three coats on plain nails but the absolute spread of the glitter flakes is absolutely perfect you have a nice distribution 
off the glitter and the flakes so overall really nice spacing as that's always my biggest fear with polishes that have flaky or glittery bits in as the liquid to flake ratio is never quite enough to get a nice equal distribution around the nail but Holotoko has smashed it as the distribution is really nice. So I've added Barry M quick dry top coat to seal everything in and overall all these polishes look fine they look great on short and long nails I don't really have a problem with any of them they do look pretty nice and I'll definitely be using them I think most of these polishes I will use during the spooky season as they are great Halloween colours so get ready for Halloween guys on Nerd Nails as it's going to be fab I think for ranking to my favourite polishes from this collection to my least favourite ones I would have to say my most favourite ones is Everything Toco and Glittery Purple. They're definitely my most favourite ones as I really like the shade of purple with the Glittery Purple and I really like the iridescent shifting effect you get with Everything Toco. And then my two middle favourite ones would be Heavy Metal Mixtape and way back chrome and then my least favorite polish would be rainbow flood i'm just not a huge fan of the shade of purple it is i do think it looks really nice when you have it in nice holographic lighting and you're getting the full rainbow spectrum showing through the polish but when you have it in bad lighting and you're not really seeing any of that holographic shine it does look like a bit of a naff purple but that's just my opinion if you like that polish that's absolutely fine I just think when you haven't got the true holographic flair it's not the nicest purple out there but overall it is still a really nice collection I will definitely be wearing all these polishes especially when it comes to Halloween and overall the retail price of this box was $75 I paid $20 in tax and I got free shipping this time as I bought some other products from Holotoko which I will be reviewing in a, another upcoming video and that's pretty much everything for today's video but some of you may be noticing that this collection came with six polishes and it came with a polish called bonus track and this polish you actually make your own polish which I really love the idea of this I think it's really cool but this video is kind of getting kind of long so I'm actually going to make my bonus track in a whole video of its own so stay tuned for that video as I think I did a pretty good job and making my own polish but that's everything for today's video let me know if you bought this collection and what your bonus track will be or let me know your thoughts and opinions of this collection as I'd love to know your guys' views as well. And if there's anything you want me to make or review, leave a comment down below and I'll get around to doing it. And just remember guys, keep being awesome, keep being amazing and I'll see you in the next Nail Art video. Bye!